Studio at Home. Hello everyone. My name is Danny Smith and I'm an art instructor at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw an awesome self-portrait. The project we'll be making today is inspired by a very large self-portrait made by the artist Evan Penny. This sculpture is much bigger than a normal sized head. The artist thinks about who he might be in the future while also questioning reality, perception, and identity. Think about who you are now or who you'd like to become as you create your giant self-portrait. To learn more about this artist and his artwork, click the link in the description below. You can pause this video or scroll back to any step if you need to. The materials that you will need are some giant poster board or cardboard, a photo or picture of yourself, a pencil, scissors, and some coloring materials like markers or colored pencils. Before you start drawing your self-portrait, take a moment to examine your picture. I would suggest that you outline your face and then break it down into pieces. It'll make it a little bit more proportional as you uh, start to draw it large. So for example here I have a line that's gone across my eyes, a line that's gone through my nose, and one through my mouth. So if we were to flip that over and try and draw it from the light, you can see how these are my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. And then you can draw the outline of your face. And then as you draw it on your large sheet of paper, you'll be able to see how it's broken down. So to start out, grab your large sheet of paper or cardboard. If you don't have a large sheet of paper, regular size paper always works. Begin to draw the outline of your face. Make sure to draw lightly so you can erase your lines if needed. Make sure you use your whole paper. We don't want to waste any space. Remember to break it down into pieces, just like you did with your picture. You can see the lines going through my eyes, nose, and mouth. Begin to add your facial features. I quickly sketched my eyes, eyebrows, nose, and mouth first. If you can see your ears, draw them as well. Don't forget to add your neck, shoulders, and hair too. Once you're satisfied with the placing of your facial features, start adding the extra details. Do you have freckles? What does your hair look like? What color shirt are you wearing? These things are all important to express who you are. Remember, your portrait doesn't have to be perfect. Mine certainly isn't. Exaggerate your facial features if you'd like. Begin to color your portrait. I'm using markers to start out, but you can use whatever coloring materials you have. Notice how I'm just outlining with color to begin with. Start out with light colors because you can always go over with darker colors later. A black marker really helps to make everything pop too. You can do this at the beginning or at the end of your drawing. As you can see, I'm coloring my hair with multiple hues. Hair is not just one color. If you look closely, it's multiple colors. Mine is dark brown, light brown, and also has some red in it. Examine your hair color and notice the colors that you see. The same thing also goes with skin color. Your skin is a beautiful variety of multiple colors, such as blues, pinks, yellows, browns, and blacks. Light and shadow also alter the way your skin looks. So examine your photo as you draw. Think about the lighting you were in when your picture was taken. How does this affect your skin color? Don't forget to color your clothing. I was wearing a blue t-shirt that day. The last thing I did with my self-portrait was color in the white spaces with a peach colored pencil. This helped give me a finalized look. Think about what you need to do to finalize your large self-portrait. And there you have it, the final product. Notice how my forehead is a little too big and my facial features are a little too small, but that's okay because that's the fun of this project. You never know what you're gonna get and it's always fun to just experiment and play around. What you can do now is cut it out Take a moment to admire your giant self-portrait. You can even put it in front of your face like this. Invite others to join you. That way you can have a whole bunch of different large portraits around your house. 
Thanks for making art with us today, and we'll see you next time.